Hello, we want to welcome you to our virtual open house. My name is Trent Thrill, and I'm the head of school here at Hendersonville Christian Academy. Today in our video, you'll be hearing from some key leaders at HCA. First of all, you'll be hearing from Ms. Norwood, who oversees our preschool department for our three and four year olds. Then you'll be hearing from Laura Williams. She's a third grade teacher, but she oversees our elementary department as our lead teacher. You'll also be hearing from one of our secondary teachers, Mr. Ken Terry. Mr. Terry will be talking to you about the dynamic of the academics and our Christian perspective and approach to our education on the upper level and how we prepare with stepping blocks and preparing our students with a well-rounded education for whatever God calls them into, whether vocation or higher education. You'll also be hearing from Ms. Davida Black. She's our office manager. Ms. Black has had three children go through the school. She now has a grandchild in the school, but she'll be talking about the family atmosphere, HCA, and the love and care that uh, our staff shows to our students and also the relationship between our staff and our students. We invite you to continue on with us through the video. I'll be giving you a tour throughout our facility and talking to you a little bit more about what HCA has to offer and the benefits of putting your child here at Hendersonville Christian Academy. This is our church auditorium. HCA is a ministry of Bible Baptist Church. Bible Baptist Church meets here on Sundays at 10 o'clock. We'd love to have you join us for one of our services. We use the auditorium as a school for many activities and events for programs such as the Christmas program, spring programs, kindergarten, graduations, high school graduation. Uh, we also use it for our chapels on Thursdays. All students will attend chapel on Thursday and parents, when things open back up, we'd love to have you join us here for chapels. One of our biggest goals here at HCA is not just the academic rigor and preparing students academically, but it's to offer hope to them through teaching them about Jesus that they have a creator, the creator has a plan for them, and to help them see that plan and to equip them well for whatever God has called them to do. Welcome to our elementary hallway. We actually have down here on our lower level, we have our preschool department back down this way. And then as we turn the corner here, uh, we have more of our elementary classrooms. And Miss Laura Williams will be talking to you guys in a little bit about our elementary department. This is our secondary hallway. We're in a two-story building. Earlier, you saw us down on the first floor with the elementary department. Now we're up here on our second floor where our middle school and high school classes take place. We're gonna head on over to, uh, through the courtyard, over to our cafeteria and gym now. This is our cafeteria. Your child can purchase lunch for each day or they can also bring their own lunch. But we have a cafeteria program that provides a hot meal and also a la carte items each day. And you're gonna love Granny Sue's cinnamon rolls if you ever get a chance to taste one of those. Welcome to the Crusader Gym. Here in the gym, we have our elementary, middle school, high school PE classes. Of course, indoor sports such as volleyball and basketball take place here. Teachers will even bring their classes in here for indoor recess during inclement weather. But we're very blessed to have the facility that we have. We have four locker rooms. We have a training area back behind the gym here that is equipped with a weight room, batting cage, and other things to help us develop our sports program in the future. We're in the art room and HCA has a great history of strong fine arts and we look forward to continuing to expand and develop that program as we develop more and add more in the years to come. Hello, I'm Roseanne Norwood and I'm the preschool director at Hendersonville Christian Academy. We are here in one of our three-year-old classrooms and you ask, what do, does a three-year-old child do? Why, does, why is it important for them to come to preschool? Well, one of the things that they will learn is with their seating time, they will learn to sit and how to take turns. That's something that's very important important for a three-year-old. They also have learning times. They start their morning with the Pledge of the Flag and Bible time. They will then go from that. They will be going into their centers that they will be working and learning how to, to play together, as well as they will be learning their alphabet, their numbers, and all the different things to get them ready toward. We're all building toward our kindergarten. They're just three, but now they take it a little bit at a time. So they will learn their alphabet really well, start to learn to write, write their name, cutting, all the different things that they need in the very beginning as they're getting out of this 
baby stage. They're coming into the preschool stage to where they need to start getting doing things that will get their motor skills going, get their uh, them able to get ready toward kindergarten. So that's why we feel like it's very important for the three-year-olds because they get the very base basic, all the bases in here. And then they'll build upon this in the four-year-old class where they just take it, where they've learned their alphabet, where they've learned their numbers, and then they can just build on more to, to get toward the kindergarten time. Our three-year-old classes have small ratios. It's one to six, one to eight, so that the teachers can spend time with the children. They can work with them one-on-one. -on -one. They can also be able to just help them with all the different things that they're learning and, and give them time to give some special times. When children first come in here at three, some of them have a hard time leaving their parents. And so we have loving teachers that can spend that extra time with them because of the small class size. And we are here in one of our four-year-olds' classrooms. Um, our K-4 learn how to get ready for their kindergarten classes. We will be working with our, our vowels, our alphabet, our numbers, everything that they need, all the skills that they will need for kindergarten, they will be getting here in our preschool classes. Our day consists of um, we start the day at 8.30, and we, like everyone else in the school, we start with our pledge to our flag and our Bible time, and then we will, we will go into our academics. In our academics, we do um, our phonics and our alphabet, and we will start working them toward reading. Um, our goal is for them to be reading short sentences and small words by the end of the school year. They should be able to read their name. They should be able to write their name. And uh, they will also be able to count to 100 and they'll be able to, re or should be able to recognize uh, numbers up to at least 35 that they can look at and know what they are and know the concept of the numbers. Uh, we try to work with them on the clock, all the different things that they'll need getting them ready academically. And as well as that, we have centers that we that they're able to, to work in so that they can learn how to do some some different STEM things and different things that they will need, different, not just the academics. Everything that we do in our four-year-old program is to get the child, each child individually ready for kindergarten. And some of the children even have their own time that they do this. Learning clock is what we call when they're ready, but we will give them all the tools that they need and start working with them. They'll be able to work in their reading and, and their math and all the different skills that they need so that they'll be ready and confident when they go into kindergarten. Hello, my name is Laura Williams and I am from Hendersonville Christian Academy. I teach third grade in our elementary department and I would like to share some exciting things with you. Some very important things that I'd like you to know about are our Christian-based curriculum. It's strong in phonics, reading, and language, and very important, we also learn cursive writing in elementary and we carry it all the way through uh, fifth grade. We are also strong and we have a godly view of arithmetic and science and history and we like to make sure that our students know that patriotism is very important. In the lower grades, we focus on the fundamental building blocks for reading with our phonics-based curriculum. So you can see our phonics chart here. We think it's very important that children know how to read, not just orally, but also they understand what they're reading when they read. Everything is taught from a Christian perspective, helping us to build Christian character into our students and challenging them to live a productive Christian life. We want them to please their creator. That's our goal. Each class, we teach them Bible. That's my favorite part. We also get to have chapel once a week where we have a special speaker and we get to learn from God's word together. We also memorize scripture passages and we get to share them with each other. Our loving, caring teachers are concerned about developing and teaching the whole student. Hendersonville Christian Academy is our ministry and teachers love the role that God has given to us. 
I hope this helps you to have a small picture of what we're like here at HCA. Hello, my name is Ken Terry, and for the last 13 years, I've had the privilege of teaching history, Bible, and being in charge of our local chapter of the Honor Society. In teaching history, for years, the prevailing thought as students would come in my room is history is boring. It's just dates and dead people. Of course, being a lover of history, I found this not to be true, and my objective was to convert them to my line of thinking. In looking back, though, I found there's two main keystones to successfully teaching history in the Christian school. One was the development of critical thinking skills. Personally, in history class, that's done in a myriad of different ways. We do current events, we have peer teaching, do Socratic seminar, hands-on projects, and then we do what's called written and oral impromptus, in which a topic is thrown out to the students and they're able to elicit thought and then re return a response to me and to the class. This gets students thinking independently. Again, we don't look at classes as a whole always. We should look at them as each individual student is an individual learner. So our development of critical skills and the thinking process is gonna help them in the future. Our second point, and we believe is a mainstay of teaching history in a Christian school, is teaching the philosophical viewpoint of American exceptionalism. Is America perfect? No. We've got our bumps and bruises and flaws like every other country on the map. Is America blessed by God? And that's a resounding yes. As a history teacher in a Christian school at HCA, we like to not just teach about the Declaration of Independence, but we study the Declaration. We get our hands on the United States Constitution because as you see, the students that we have coming through our halls, they're living history today. The philosopher, George Santayana, said a statement, if we don't learn from history, we're doomed to repeat it. We hope as our students come through the halls of HCA, whether it's in math or English or science, whatever area it is, that they develop their critical thinking skills, but they have a deep reverence and a love and a patriotic spirit about how great their land is. I love running into our students that were alumni year after year, and I hear this repeating theme we were prepared at HCA. We were prepared in English. We were prepared in math. We were prepared in personal, personal finance. We were prepared in history. We were prepared in Bible. That excites me and encouraged me to know that we're fulfilling our objective, and that's teaching the entire student. I hope this has been able to give you a little glimpse into our heart of what we do here at HCA. And you've been able to see that our goal is to prepare the individual student for whatever God has for them in the future. I am Davida Black, and I have served in the office at Hendersonville Christian Academy for over two decades. Three of my own children have graduated from HCA, and I always knew how good our staff and faculty was, but it wasn't until I was on the parent side that I saw the investment that our teachers put into our students and the heart that they pour into them to push them to be better and it pushes them academically, spiritually, and even in athletics. Um, what has been an impact for me and a privilege to be able to see over the years is how our students create these relationships and bonds with each other and the staff and faculty. And these bonds have lasted for decades. I hope you've enjoyed our virtual open house today and hearing from some of our staff members. I wanna encourage you to contact the school office to set up a tour. We can do a tour during the school day or after school hours. Again, my name is Trent Thrill. I'm head of the school here at Henderson Mill Christian Academy. We'd love to hear from you. God bless and look forward to connecting with you.